Hey guys, I do myself here, and today I wanted to follow up with a video on some of the new features that have been discovered by you guys. Thank you for sending those to my social networks and to my email. I appreciate that a lot. And some that I've come across myself. So this is going to be a follow-up for iOS 11 Beta 4, which was released this week, earlier this week on Monday. And we're going to go ahead and see additional new features that have been discovered, as I mentioned. So let's begin. One of the new features that you guys have been sending my way was the fact that when you receive a notification in iOS 11 Beta 4, let's say I send a message here to myself, when it goes here, to the lock screen if I simply tap on the notification I get this brand new user interface right here with touch ID in order to open the message just press here for touch ID and boom so a brand new user interface on the lock screen for touch ID another new interesting feature that Apple added here into settings under the photos section if you swipe all the way down you see a new transfer to Mac or PC automatic or keep original automatically transfer photos and videos in its compatible format or always transfer original files without checking for compatibility now here if we go to ios 11 beta 3 let me go ahead and bring here this iphone running ios 11 beta 3 if i scroll all the way down you see here that's just says people and it's an entirely new different setting another great change to ios 11 beta 4 versus beta 3 is that when you close a window on the multitasker when all the apps are closed it brings you back to the home screen unlike ios 11 beta 3 where if you close the last application, it will keep this blur screen here on the multitasker, but you have to tap back into the home screen. Let me show you that again here, both running side by side, beta three and beta four, closing the windows. One goes back to home screen, one stays on the blurred screen. So a nice change there for the multitasker, improves the user experience. On my first video, when I covered iOS 11 beta four new changes, I forgot to show you one little difference here for the stopwatch. So if you enable the stopwatch here, you see the animation on beta four, the watch just kind of starts ticking unlike beta 3 which was blue by the way the color is different as well and it didn't have that cool animation so different ui there for the stopwatch as well after restoring my device with ios 11 beta 4 using itunes i received a few new splash screen one for siri one for notes some of you guys have gotten these in beta 3 i received them in beta 4 there's also some floating around for photos as well now speaking of photos you can now edit a photo or a picture an image whatever it is when you crop it you no longer have the problem where you would swipe the crop from the top and notify Notification center would come down. I'm so happy they fixed it. I had so many issues with that. So now you can happily crop your photos without notification center actually dropping. You see that when you go to crop, by the way, you see right here, let's go ahead and click edit. If I click on the edit button here for the cropping, when I tab down, you see that little notch that comes down just to make sure you wasn't intending to bring down notification center. So welcome changes here for the cropping of images in photos. And some other minor changes here. Let's say to iTunes down here. Look at the menus here. They're kind of filled in with that darker shade inside if you look at beta 3 and this is out through all ios 11 beta 4 in comparison to beta 3 you see there it's not filled in with the darker shades right there for the menus so a little change there for the ui in ios 11 beta 4 again that translates to a lot of the menus in beta 4 compared to beta 3. A very interesting change in ios 11 beta 4 under the messages tab we no longer have the messages on icloud tab we only have a sync tab which is quite unfortunate because i used to like what ios 11 beta 3 was doing here you see that you have the messages in iCloud. If I toggle this off, I had the option to disable on this device only or all devices. On a beta 4, we only have a sync button. So just sync between all devices. It doesn't give you the option to disable on other devices. I thought this option was a little better. Hopefully they bring this toggle back here for messages in iCloud. But beta 4 actually went backwards in my opinion in terms of iMessage for iCloud sync. And that about brings it into this video. I hope you guys enjoy some of these new changes. This was a follow up video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great day. And I'll see you real soon. Peace.